Hold on. I'm just gonna drink first before I talk. I'm back. <sighs> I don't know how to start this. It's been so long since I filmed in front of the camera. I'm just like, ugh. All right, ready? I'm ready. Today I want to talk about something a little bit serious. Now, you guys know that I don't like doing these kind of videos. Um, like you know, my channel is very lighthearted. It's very fun. And um, I've been putting off doing this video for a really long time. But it's come to a point where I feel like I need to talk about it. Is that better? Or is this better? This is better. So I was watching Orange Tummy's video and she did a video talking about her experience of being groped in public in Japan. And I've had a similar experience as well when I was an exchange student in Japan. But mine wasn't that bad because I'm naturally the type of person who confronts anyone who disturbs me. So uh, I kicked him. And one thing that Japanese people hate more than anything is to draw attention to themselves in public. And that is something that I would gladly do if anyone ever touches me. So I remember going all out when I was confronting him and it was, it was fucking satisfying to be honest. But not everyone is like me. So recently two of my friends were molested in public and um, they were scared y'all. They couldn't do anything to stand up for themselves and they felt disgusted and dirty and all they could do was to keep it in. When I heard that I just had to make this video. I mean the fact that someone can make you feel disgusted in your own skin is just absolutely revolting to me. So I'm doing this video not only to speak up for my friends and share their stories but I want everyone watching this video, my subscribers, people who are interested in Japan to be aware of this it doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl transgender or gay regardless of any of that to be careful and to speak up about this if it ever happens to you so before I get into my own opinions and my own personal tips for handling this sort of thing let me share with you guys the stories first now there are so many voices out there but no one is willing to listen so today I want at least one of these voices to be heard so this happened to one of my really really close friends Aina-chan. Some of you guys might know her from a few of my videos. She wanted her story to be shared and that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna read her story from my phone. She sent me a message online. It started when I went to a swimming pool with my friend's family. I was touched twice by the same ojisan. Ojisan is old man or uncle. He first touched my butt and I didn't think he did it on purpose but a little while later I was standing by the pool and he touched my vagina and I instantly looked back. He was behind me and I wanted to shout and scream that he was a groper but I couldn't because he was with his granddaughter and I asked her, oh my god, like, did you do it? What do you do after? Like, do you do anything about it? She said, no, I didn't. I couldn't tell anyone about it. Mm. Sour bitch. Oh my goodness, like had that been me, ooh, I would have told him off right in front of his granddaughter. Gross. Keep your hands to yourself. Like guys, if you ever encounter such things, don't let them get away with this. Because the fact that they can get away with this, it's gonna make them feel like it's completely alright to touch someone without their consent. And they're gonna keep doing it to people. And this happens so often in Japan that they have women-only trains in Tokyo. And here's where it gets a little bit fucked up. I'm not apologizing for cursing in this video, but yes. In Japan, it is not easy for a girl to prove that this man has groped her. So instead, they accuse a random person, a random man. So it is possible that this man is completely innocent of groping her and that he has to compensate her with money. So there are cases where women pretend to be groped by men just to get money out of them. Completely innocent men, they did not touch her at all, but just to get money out of them, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that, but the number of women who have been doing that has been increasing over the years. I honestly don't know how I feel about that. I think it's pretty fucked up. I don't know what you guys think. Tell me in the comment section below what you guys think of this. I think it's fucked up. I don't think anybody should do that. Also, another thing that I want you guys to know, especially for future exchange students, is to keep in mind that some of these things do happen within your host family. There are cases where a member of your host family or um, a relative try to sexually harass you. And if you're going through any of this right now, don't be afraid to speak up, alright? Tell your LP about it. Tell your company about it. Uh, don't go telling your actual family 
family though because that's just gonna make things a lot more complicated. If it happens within your host family, if your host parents or host siblings do anything to you, request for a host family change immediately. If it is a relative of your host family, let's say like uncle, Ojisan, you know, talk to your host family about it. You know, sit your host family down, sit them down and talk to them about it and see what they can do. If they can't do anything, then switch your host families. Now, I know that a lot of 14, 13, 14 year old kids watching my videos and you probably don't care about anything else on my channel except for cute boys. But this is a really serious topic, so um, please, just for once, I don't want to see no immature comments down in the comment section below, alright? Do not comment army on this video. Do it on my other videos, I don't mind that, you guys can do it. Don't do it on this video, you know, it's a bit insensitive. But if you truly have an opinion about this, if you have any tips to offer, stories and experiences to share, tell me in the comment section below, I would love to know. And yeah, I'm sorry for making such a serious video, but I just had to talk about it. I promise the next one is going to be a little bit more chill, right? And <laughs> Tell me if you guys want a more light-hearted rendition of this because I've got a couple of stories where I got touched unintentionally by people and it's just the funniest shit ever. Tell me if you guys want that in the comment section below. And that's all for today's video. If you guys found this video helpful, share it with your friends and family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I don't usually drink out of a mason jar. It's just it looks kind of cute for the video. Alright, bye.